Welcome to Report from Tiger Mountain. Here we are with David Thrustle together again, you know, after another crazy uh, period, and we're here to talk about it. So stick around and listen. The Report from Tiger Mountain. David, we're back, mate. Together again, you know. Good to see you. Good. This has been a while, hasn't it? It's been a little while. Feels like a while. Can't David's had time the... has stood still in the uh, yep. you know Soviet Union. In the Soviet Union, David's yeah. had the COVID at Christmas, and little Richard here. I had a COVID about a month ago, so uh, yeah, we've both survived. How did we do it, mate? You know. Well, we made it through the chemtrails, through yes. the jungle of chemtrails. It was definitely a bioweapon, mate, wasn't it? Definitely a bioweapon. Didn't felt feel odd. like a... It felt odd. Didn't the feel like a cold odd. flu. Yep. Yeah. It felt it like malaria, odd. mate. Some yeah, kind of... Yeah. yeah. Weaponized yeah. Well, malaria. Well, I've ranted on to you, haven't I? They built their testing station up here. Tell us about that. So, you know, 15 minutes away from here, um, uh, in Castle, Maine, they built their huge testing station. Yes. Um, out of the blue, nothing going on. Nothing going on. And then a week later, yep. four or five days later, people started getting sick all over the place. Yep. Uh, it was highly dubious. Highly dubious. Yeah, and the whole thing, highly dubious. <laughs> but we probably shouldn't talk too much about this because this, this gets you banned from YouTube and everywhere else if we talk oh, too much about, about the COVID and the vaccine, mate. Oh. But I guess... Ooh. <laughs> So, um, we've also been involved in Cafe Lockdown of late, haven't we? We've we been making have. regular videos, the No yes. Goat Show. This is something, a bit of a crossover that's going on. Mm. And some we of had these an interesting reports. discussion last night, actually. It was. I, which, I, uh, you know, it could have been good to go further in depth on that discussion, actually, I, I felt. You go know, ahead about, right now. You've well, got, you've got about the, floor. the the division uh, that apparently is uh, appearing, which is entirely predictable, Yes, I think. Mm. And in fact, uh, look, uh, my broad over overview going as... Mm -hmm. you know, big picture as I possibly can, is that people need to cut it out. Yeah, because I agree. It's exactly what the, the, the opposition, the bad guys want. Yes. Is for people to collapse mm -hmm. into acrimony and stupid arguments about stupid crap. Yep, yep. Uh, I think people, should, if, if they really do want to see any kind of success, they need to cut it out. Yep. I think they've clearly sent a, an agent or two into the movement to uh, destabilise it. But the thing is, is like we need to accept different positions of people. And if someone yeah. has a position that's a little crazy and maybe they are controlled opposition, it's okay. We don't need to denounce them all the time or whatever. No, I, actually, can, I, think, you know? I, think, I think denouncing them yep. is possibly the worst idea, believe Correct. it or not, yeah, yeah. because they may be controlled opposition or they mm. may not. Exactly. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But the globalists or yeah. whoever, mm -hmm. you know, couldn't be happier if yep. people started arguing about these things. That's okay? true. Yeah, That's yeah. exactly what they want. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, I've read a few books about um, informants mm. and plants. In yeah, the, the stabilization. In the, yeah, you know, in the UK yeah. and whatever. I read some fascinating book a few years back about that. And they loved it when people started accusing each other of yep. these things. Yep. And you can never you know. know they're rubbing exactly. their hands together with glee. A bit know? of hand rubbing going on, yes, there, mate. A bit yeah. of hand yeah. rubbing going on. And the hand on. rubbers. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so, you know, I, I wouldn't. I mean, you know, we can have our ideas about who yep. might be a plant or who, or who, who might, might not. not. Yep. Yep. Okay. But I don't think it's constructive to air those accusations in public. Actually. Yes. No, I agree with you. Uh, to because some all, all we do is we is, are talking just about it here. Handballing it to the globalists. You know, it's yeah. Exactly what they want. Yeah, it is what they want. And I, as I said, I mean, you know, even if someone too, I find it interesting. If someone is controlled, but you can still use them because generally they have good ideas, and sometimes they just poison the well a little with some stuff that's clearly a bit too over the top or a bit too heading off into like what you call the flat Earth land, you know, which is like the disinformation sure. territory. But look, what do you think at the moment? There's a very interesting situation going on in Canada because it, look, Trudeau is. Is like um, a kind of Daniel Andrews, but as the Prime Minister of, of, of Canada, and he's been very extreme with the whole COVID agenda, and he seems to have a kind of uh, people's revolution on his hands at the moment. What are your thoughts about that? Great. Um, I, I do note as well that um, somebody sent me a video of him the other day denouncing the truckers' convoy and of course. all rubbish mm -hmm. as, as, he, as he would. He's not going to support it, is he? No, but he looked uh, twenty years older <laughs> in this video. I think right. I think his minders, you know, yeah. uh, his. Uh, his minders have dragged him off somewhere and beaten the hell out of him yeah. and told him to lift his game, well, you know. It was the same thing with Andrews. Remember when he went down the staircase? Obviously, yeah. there was some... I mean, some of... I mean, there was an interesting theory that uh, maybe Andrews didn't want to go along with every single aspect of this agenda and maybe objected and down the floody stairs he went. You know what I mean? This is how the globalists deal with you. 
you know, when you knows? when you play their game, but you don't yes. want to go the full hog. Like Theresa May resigned, and Boris came along and was kind of like pro Brexit, which we, which I liked anyway. And then uh, and then, then suddenly, all of a sudden, he got sick. He got sick very early on. <laughs> He's the only politician to ever have COVID. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And, and he, he said, wasn't playing ball. He at wasn't that time. at that time. Afterwards, right. he was. Yes. You know? yeah. yeah. It's extraordinary, it's isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're busy. You know, they're, they're busy, busy. Their tentacles are everywhere. What's it called? Yeah. Yep, the tentacles and uh, very HP Lovecraft, as we were noting before. Exactly. Cthulhu. Cthulhu and spinning yeah. plates, a lot of spinning plates going on. Um, and, and what do you think what's going on in Canberra at the moment? It's almost like an echo of, of what the situation in Canada. It is. It is a, an echo. Look, I think my personal position is I think we should be doing all options. Yes. You know, so I don't particularly take a side in these debates about should we do this, should we do that. I mm. think pressure that can be applied everywhere, because I don't particularly know, and I, I will admit this, mm. I don't know what's likely to be the most successful strategy. I so agree I too, yeah. If you, if you want to apply pressure Apply here, general pressure, yeah, absolutely. as much as possible. A apply pressure everywhere yeah. that you can. And it's yeah. okay that people have different strategies, and it's not necessarily the end of the world if they say things have divided into two camps or whatever. Um, but I, I would say, though, well, that the one that, the one that seems to problem. work towards what you'll call active solutions in the sense of like ending the vaccine mandates, ending the, you know, basically, you know, I mean, it does seem to a certain extent that this pandemic is over with this Omicron wave, you know. I mean, people don't seem to be worrying the, about it as much. For the time being, like I was yeah. saying last night, you know, yes. I have the onerous task of scanning the age quickly every morning. I do know, it too, mate. Yeah, dip my toe in. It's ugly. Always. But I, as I was saying last night, the last two days, they've dropped the COVID narrative like a hot potato. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. gone. I know. You know? Yeah. And uh, there's obviously, I don't think they're smart enough to make those sort of decisions on their own. Yeah. It's obviously... Uh, uh, instructions have come from somewhere. Yeah. Okay, this is what the agenda is now. We're yeah. going back to identity politics right yeah. now. I, as we were saying last night, yeah, yeah. I assume that it's two steps forward, one step, step back. back. You know, they'll let us off the leash for a little while mm -hmm. and then they'll hammer us Yep. Come Isn't winter, it extraordinary, you know? too? The left has gone back into kind of what you call, you know, anti-discrimination mode. They've done the LBGT marches, you know, with the, the Pride... Was it the Pride Day, the Pride Month? Who knows what the hell that rubbish was. And then they had, um, you know, what was the other thing? Uh, the, the whole women's stuff in relation to Grace Time and, you know, that whole manufactured situation, Higgins or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, which is like an attack upon the Liberal Party to get Labour in or whatever. You know, and they're always talking, oh, we can't have discrimination and we must have equality. But meanwhile, it's like, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, in the real world, I know. You, I know. Can't you can't go a to job. a restaurant. You I can't know. have a job I know. unless you've taken an experimental medical procedure. Yep. As I was saying to you off camera, yep. my friend down the road who lived in the Soviet Union, yep. speaks fluent Russian, worked as a Russian translator for a long time, has a lot of Russian friends, knows the Soviet Union well. He was saying to me the other day, we sat down, we we're having a conversation, and he mm -hmm. said to me, look, here now is worse than the Soviet Union. Yeah, and he is. knows because he lives there. Yeah. He lived in the Soviet Union and said it's worse here than it was in the Soviet Union. There, in the Soviet Union, they, the government never mandated that you had to have a, a, a medical procedure yeah. to hold down a job yeah. or that you couldn't I mean, go <laughs> uh, uh, and do this or that or whatever, yeah. eat it, some food or whatever because of some medical situation. Stalin know? and even, yeah. even Nazi Germany didn't go that far, mate. So we've clearly crossed some kind of Rubicon um, towards a kind of totalitarian capitalism and that's where we are at the moment. And what, exactly. And one of the things that I find most disquieting is that there's a segment of the population, a, a large mm -hmm. segment, mm who are okay with that. Oh, they love it. They love it. I mean, you know, it's, it's extraordinary, you know, um, you know. But and as you, as you point yeah. out, yet, yet, uh, you know, there's a, there's a certain strata of people who will bang on about mm -hmm. equality and uh, discrimination, yeah, yeah, yeah. blah, except, blah, 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 except the, the, the discrimination that's right in front of their face every single day I know. about the most basic, I know. basic things in human life. Yes. And they're invisible to them. It's invisible. Because it's, the media yep, has told them that they're invisible. I know. And it's so they dance to it's the It's like tune Daniel of the Andrews media. the yeah. other day was like, you know, oh, I, I won't stand for inequality or, or <laughs> non discrimination. <laughs> you know, he did a march and that was his actual <laughs> tweet on, on Facebook. So there it is. I won't stand gentlemen. for inequality that's not my inequality. <laughs> that's it. That's, it's not a quality, inequality that I haven't, you know, caused to happen. Exactly. Well, uh, that's the report for Tiger Mountain here with uh, David once again. It hurts. We're still here releasing <laughs> videos, so. And I'd like to thank. Oh, I've got a headache now. I'm in pain. He's pushing me. I'd I like to thank Nikki it. for shooting it today. Thanks, Nikki. <laughs> Yay!